Sure.com here with Thug Rose Namahunas, Victorious over Kathina Catron. Rose, congratulations on your work. Thank you very much. So you had a 12-second flying armbar, which is, uh, I think, Ronda Rousey's fastest armbar victory was 23 seconds. How do you feel about beating her record? Uh, pretty astounding. I mean, I don't want to celebrate too much. I mean, she might come over here and out the corner and try to armbar me from out of nowhere. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, I feel great. I mean, I got some messages saying it was like the fifth fastest submission ever in MMA history. I don't know if I believe those facts, but uh, but apparently that's the fifth fast, fastest submission and the fastest woman submission. So, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, have you you've done uh, have you done flying arm bars in jiu-jitsu tournaments before? Once before in a tournament, uh, I didn't land it successfully. I still flipped her over, but uh, I didn't get it. It's actually in one of my highlight videos. But I mean, I throw them in practice a lot. I just, you know, was just happened to be the time that I, you know, saw the opportunity for it in this fight. And I've been throwing a lot leading up to this training camp. And I figure, you know, as soon as she reaches for my neck, I'm just go for it. Just no hesitation. You know, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to just risk it all. And, you know, so now some people are saying now, oh, no, she's not going to be able to do it ever again because somebody, because she did it. It's like, so? I still got it, you know. Um, so whatever. Gotcha. Okay, so you've had two professional fights, two Invicta Submission of the Night bonuses, but I always thought you were more of a kickboxer. Can you talk a little bit about that? If people would stop grabbing my neck, maybe I'd be a kickboxer. No, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely well-rounded. I've I, uh, been doing Taekwondo and Karate since I was little, and then I started Jiu-Jitsu before I actually started kickboxing. So. I don't know if it's more of a I'm one or the other, but I definitely like striking more than anything. It's just these girls like to go to the ground. So, you know, I got to be prepared to go down there, too. And, you know, and I don't want to work too hard to try and muscle, you know, out of takedowns and stuff like that. So uh, I'm as long as I'm comfortable on the ground then I can save the energy. And if I can pull up that submission, um, you know, then it's then there's no risk. Gotcha. Um, so at the weigh ins, you looked like you were pretty much ready to kill somebody. Can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, that's just that's just how I always am, you know. I mean, I respect all my opponents, and I don't have any beef with anybody. I mean, like, how can you hate somebody you don't even know? That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, other other than if somebody says something out of line, then I get that. But um, just the weigh-ins, it's it's. But once it gets to that point, it's I'm totally a different person. I'm a different animal, not a person. Um, and it's it's all about you know I'm coming in to kill you. Pretty much that's our job, you know. It's you can't you have to leave aside the personality or the you know, the the relationship that you have with that person outside of the ring. And like I said to all my uh, training partners, you know, we're all training partners and we're all friends right now, but if we were all starving and there was one piece of bread in the, in the middle of the floor and everybody, you know, wanted to get it, we would all kill each other for it. And that's the exact same thing. We're all fighting for that money. We're all fighting for that for that paycheck. So, you know, we're, we can be friends afterwards, but right now I'm getting my paycheck. Gotcha. That was an answer. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your nickname. Thug Rose. Um, you know, what can you say? I guess just I am Thug Rose. That's it. I mean, now, obviously, I've been in some situations growing up, I mean, but and I've been through some hardships and stuff like that, and that kind of made me who I am to this day. So I kind of had that little rough side to me, but I have different sides to me. Um, you know, I'm not just Thug Rose. I mean, I'm Cry Baby Rose. I'm, you know, Sensitive Rose. I'm, I love Animals Rose. I'm, you know, I'm the Fighter Rose, but... The girls is just a, it's a little part of my childhood that, you know, when I was running around the neighborhood and I was the only white girl around and they just, I was walking around harder with a, you know, Tupac bandana on and, I, you know, it's just a, it's just a thing for my childhood. So. Gotcha. So anybody you have your eyes on for your next fight? Everybody's asking me that. Um, really, uh, anybody that, that they see, I mean, like. They, all these girls are so experienced, more experienced than I am. So I really, I, I want to get my experience up there. You know, I mean, I'll, and then, you know, hopefully a few fights in. If I get a few winning streaks ahead of me, then I'll go for the belt.